Hi there, this is Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and here's another segment about the Tori Alfredo heat exchange espresso and cappuccino machine. Please watch my other previous segments, basically taking out of the box or unboxing, start up, uh, and then also going over the menu uh, using the action key here before watching this video. You should see the three links down below. If you don't, let us know. Now, the machine's been through about a 30 minute warm up. Typically minimum is 20. Okay, the group head has to be piping hot. You can also check with a porta filter. So I like to keep it empty. It will build up some condensation. You can use the Tory towel to dry it off. I'm gonna do the bottomless. The bottomless can get messy but can show you inadequacies in the grind quality, or if you're not using a WT, WDT method to get rid of the clumping. But when you're tamping, you're clumping also as well. If you're putting any cups on top, they do take about two to three hours to heat. So what do I like to do? I like to preheat my cups with hot water for the machine. Okay, now it's going through a refill because this water comes from the bottom of the boiler pressured out by steam pressure at the top. The water for the coffee doesn't come from the bottom boiler, it goes through a pipe. So this cup is already getting nice and hot. The other reason I do like to take out some water is because it keeps the boiler fresh. And on machines, if you get lime scale buildup towards the bottom, it kind of flushes that out through the hot water wand. Now on the flip side, I don't like taking out more than four ounces of water at a time because the water level can drop in the boiler, expose the heating element and burn it up. It has happened to a customer two weeks ago on a different machine because that's what they did. So just make sure to take out four ounces. If you're gonna use it for tea or something else, four ounces, let it refill, take out another four ounces. If you're doing that continuously, you will run out of steam because it takes time for the machine to rebuild the steam pressure. But you already heard the boiling stop, so you know that it, it, this machine recovers pretty quickly. Now, I've left the porta filter out here, but make sure it's too hot to the touch, because if it's not too hot to the touch, the espresso can come out sour. It cannot extract a good crema, so just make sure that happens. If you see my other techniques, I have a Quamar M80 TP grinder here, uh, and I'm going to double dose. And I like to overfill the basket so it's not full, full yet. I'm going to put a little extra. Okay. As I said in my other video, you can use the scoop to level out the coffee. And I'm just going to use the garbage can here to level it out. Wipe off the lips. A little gap right there. Again, I suggest getting a nice tamper uh, with, uh, as an option for the machine. And this one pretty much fits around the entire basket. Wow. Normally they don't fit. So I like to make the tamp level. And I could see it's not level. And sometimes you have to do this quickly because that portafilter is lo losing temperature. Give it a little polish. Okay, let's see if it falls out. New. No. Now, I haven't tested this grind. It may come out too slow, may come out too fast. I did program the machine for five seconds pre-infusion. Let's empty the, the glass, give it a little dry. And it's a nice white cup because bottomless tend to sometimes squirt sideways. So I don't like using bottomless often, but I will use it once in a while. Lift up the lever. Now, the one thing that Andrea and I have talked about at Tori is always do a one to two second flush. It keeps the water fresh. Okay. Now here again, I have not programmed this grinder for this machine. The crema coming out here is phenomenal. The shot clock's at 22, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now there's a lot of people use a scale. You can use a scale and do your ratios, say, 20 grams in, 40 grams out. Me, I'm a little more old school. 
I will look at the pour, look at the crema, and go from there. Wow, this smells pretty good. This coffee, just like you know, is uh, S.A. Massini. It's roasted in Italy, so it's not fresh. So I had the machine programmed on high for 94 degrees average temp. Um, me personally, I would actually end up bringing the temperature down to even 92 for this uh, because I think I can get better flavor at the 92 Celsius uh, temperature. So this coffee, espresso, not bad, but not the best for this blend. I've tasted some really good stuff. But again, this is what allows you to play with the temperature and get that average temp. And maybe Andrea's right. Do that one to two second flush to clear the group head. It's not so much a, a flush for the steam buildup. That's not the purpose. He said just to get the screen cleaned and, and, and get a little bit of water. And he said one to two seconds. And actually, when I think about when I go to Italy, when they're pulling shots at their bars, espresso bars, I actually always see the baristas putting a little water on any machine that they've used. You may uh, seem different, seen, seen it differently. If you have, please post down below, let us know where, uh, especially in Milan, because that's where I go every two years to meet with the manufacturers. I can live with that. Very, very good, uh, but not the best. So this is how you make espresso. Watch for our next segment where we show you how to steam and froth the milk. Thank you for watching. This is Java Jim with First Line Equipment. Glad you stood to the end here. Take a look and review at this machine. As I always say, coffee first, everything else second, and second includes following us on social media. Take care.